in for Lady Daystra, I'm like, this is what I need for the for the a completely like 180 from the other female led Ludus. Yes. Where it's like worship me versus I'm gonna train I'm gonna train hard and we're gonna win via like honorable means. Uh, so honor and dishonor. Um, well, it it is what's awesome in this is that the knights are all fucks. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarians are like the noble honorable people, and the knights are just scummy. Like I thought it was going to be like the scummy knights, the not scummy knights. No, it's like sort of green LJ scummy knights versus red LJ scummy knights. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, this is the fall scummy knights. This is the spring scummy knights. Um. <laughs> One for every season. <laughs> All right, what are you what are you buying? Um, a uh, a selection of rare bones or something. Some bones, chew bones, big ones. Actually, no. We know he's got an elephant. What would an elephant eat? Knowledge, nature. This is what we're gonna do between the three of us. Uh, Phineas, do you have knowledge, nature? Phineas really knows nature. He's got an elephant. What would a what a big what a big elephant need? Lots of peanuts. I did describe there was peanuts. No peanuts. peanuts. Uh, Do you have a uh, nature? Twenty six. Yeah, there's a story about elephants eating peanuts. You know that they basically are uh, herbivores, herbs, tree tree leaves, grasses, vines. Okay. Well, Almost any about... plant, like twigs, bark, leaves, shoots, flowers, tubers, branches, fruit, bulbs, and roots. Anything <laughs> they could get into their trunk to go into their mouth. Right. What about a megaphant? What does that eat? You Same don't. Thing? You don't know what the megaphant is. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's get him a big bag of peanuts. Yeah, you okay? You get a you get like a a bunch of people to port these huge bags of peanuts. Like, yep. how many bags do you want? Big ass well, bag of peanuts, like, probably like a few silver a piece. Uh, like two hundred pounds of peanuts. Okay, plus uh, plus a few silvers for the porters <sighs> to bring it down. You got this small Congo line of uh, <laughs> big bags of peanuts. <laughs> Akka's munching on peanuts, talking yep. about how beautiful that woman was. <laughs> uh, Ashoka is going to not discourage talk of the woman because he wants to know when this spell ends. Yep. So, um, it's approximately four hours later, four hours after the incident. See that? that. See that's it's, it's 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 enough that if you take somebody to dinner, you can keep them from going back to charm will wear off. Yep. Which way are you going now that you're in a market? Are you going the southern route down or the northern route down? Uh, where is his place? The Beastmaster oh, stables is. are to the north uh, of the Vatapol Civic Arena. We are going to go the... We will go the northern route down. <laughs> for reasons. Roll a d2. <laughs> One All is right. northern, two is southern. <laughs> because, because Ahmed's part of the team. Yeah. Right. Oh. Sorry, Ahmed. All right. Enjoy as, happy time. <laughs> as you were going down towards the Beastmaster stables, um, there is this kindly woman face, older woman. Um, uh, she um, uh, she's got white hair, um, kind of motherly. She's like, there, there. You you wake up, Magnus. You've got a throbbing headache. You're sore. You've got some poultice, you got some poultices applied to you, and like a cold wrap around your head. Ah, uh, uh, I'm dancing. I apologize. Oh, he gets up. No, no, just, just keep your head down, <coughs> you barbarian. He looks for his sword. <laughs> looks for his armor. <laughs> uh, yeah, your armor's still on you. Um, you notice that um, uh, Albus had a holy symbol like this. You notice this golden face on a disc. That is around a chain that she has on her neck. Uh, you mm-hmm. recognize the holy symbol of Palor, the god of the mm-hmm. sun and healing. Yep. Yeah. My name is Chella, fierce barbarian. I come to heal up these women whenever they are overzealous in their training. And when they 
I suppose, finally get to participate in the games. Hmm. Thank you for healing me. You're just as pig-headed as she is. <laughs> She's a good fighter. Is she alright? I, I didn't mean to damage, to do any injury near the end. Although in the she, beginning, I couldn't control myself. She's alive, although I've never seen a wound where someone tried so hard with a blunt stick to cut someone's arm off. Yeah. It didn't do a good job. Why would you use a stick? You fools, she says. <laughs> I've... You will live, unfortunately. Uh, is there a crowd, girl? No, you're kind of off to the side. It looks like the training okay. is done. The doors are actually closed. You do see that in another, in another like, uh, curtained-off area, there's another cot that's set up, and there's somebody else laying in it. <laughs> you hit hard, Magnus. You hear Sonya's voice. Ah, uh, Sonya. Wait, she said Sonya. Yeah. Sonya, <laughs> you, you hit very hard as well, many times. Shit, I didn't know if he was coming from the left or the right or both at the same time. You're very good. You hear <coughs> the sound of a, a cork leaving a bottle. And the bottle, half drank, it, is now being presented yeah. underneath the, underneath, uh, the curtain. <laughs> the 200 gold piece bottle? Yep. Yeah, 100. No, no, 100. 100. <laughs> oh, I'll leave you two logheads alone. Um, What's Chella, Chella, Chella at, at first scoops up the uh, scoops up the bottle. She takes a swig and she does some sort of religious blessing over the wine. May one day Pelor's wisdom pass upon these two logheads. I will pray for them. Thank you again. We could probably use your services at my Luthers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can. She hands you the bottle of wine. <coughs> You're not stealing our healer, Magnus, is what Sonia says. It's just borrow, borrow. <laughs> Chella doesn't leave the building. She goes over and she's washing her hands and she's she's listening in to make sure that there's no impropriety. So how long have you been in this town? Years. You? Uh, a few months now. Just, be just before winter came. I honestly thought that I was going to lose. When you hit me the first time in my shoulder, it felt like my arm fell off. I didn't mean... I, I'm sorry, I kind of lost control there. But, uh... You're definitely Corsican. The only one who has ever hit me that hard has been Maeve. <laughs> Be glad I wasn't using my sword. <laughs> what, the last time I fought Maeve, we tied <coughs> sandbags to her stick. And I was out for days. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fight to do anything like that with Maeve. Is that why you came here? I came to talk, introduce myself. Quit hogging the wine. In. You see the you see you see the hand oh, yeah, underneath, I share, underneath the curtain. I share, I share yeah, the wine. Yeah. She she drinks the wine. So what brings you here? Why Vatapol? Wait, what Ludus are you from? <laughs> We're new. What do you mean you're new? They aren't accepting <coughs> any newcomers. <sighs> this was this was set up this was set up for us. For the Crimson oh. Scale. By cords yeah. brass balls! As if they let you take the new slot if they opened it. No one told us. We have a petition and everything. Shh. He moves, moves the curtain. Shh. <laughs> you didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you didn't have a choice? Our previous owner was a stupid asshole. He lost everything. Somebody else bought us. We came here. We got forced into doing this. She she's slowly <laughs> sitting up. You can see her shoulder is really hurt as she's wincing. Ah, sick. I'm she, she sorry drinks about with her that. other with her other hand. She passes the bottle back. She's listening to you. 
She's a fierce looking woman. You would ex you would want nothing other than that from a woman, Magnus. We're as, we're as free as the gladiators that we have. <laughs> if you ask, it's the same reason why I spend most of my time with them. Are you a slave? I'm not, but I fight with my gladiators. Why? I... They are my brothers. I've shed blood with them. I understand. I myself am self-indentured. Yeah. That's... I have to pay off debts. <laughs> There's only one way to do it when you've got uh, all this brain. Oh, what the hell happened? You hit me right here. <laughs> yeah, I did. The fuck? <laughs> I was trying to aim for the middle, but you moved. Yeah, because the middle's worse. <laughs> Four hit points, come on. <laughs> My sister. My sister and I look very much alike. Twins, they call them. You are Maeve's sister. Not Maeve, no. Maeve is is my matron. Uh, I am self-indentured. I am required by the city to fight a certain number of fights per year to pay off my debts. Debts that are not my own, she says. How much do you owe? She shakes her head. It doesn't matter anymore. The things have been settled. <laughs> Your sister is always the one that... <sighs> sucks. Yeah, it does suck, she says. She hands back the bottle. No. Oh. It appears it's empty. The wine sprites got at it. <laughs> uh, you know, you should have, yes, you should tell your, your fighters about, you know, when you fight, you should treat them to fight with each other, like information and to cover with each other and also play crowds because the crowds really help you or they can fuck you up she tries to get up and both of you are like in sorry shape the only way we're going to get through this day if we find more wine uh, okay. <laughs> she fishes in she fishes in a small bag she produces a few coin i've got the first bottle Shut well, the fuck second. up! <laughs> <laughs> he grabs, he grabs a, he gets like a, uh, uh, he gets a, gets a hundred gold. Okay, she raises an eyebrow when she sees all that gold. She doesn't argue with you. Fine, I know the right tavern. Chella says, "You shouldn't be out of bed, either of you." Uh, can we? Uh, I don't want to. Can I uh, leave my, my she points sword at the here? floor where all of your blood is? <laughs> all your blood intermixed on the floor? Perhaps it is a sign. Um, and uh, the small a small cadre of women with a quarter staffs act as her chaperone. They are not drinking, but the two of you can go and get as blitz as you want on Magnus's one hundred gold. Strict now, Magnus losing Mag coin. I'm Magnus, that Magnus now has a, uh, a drinking companion, a fighting companion, and perhaps something else. Uh, I was an <clears throat> asshole. <laughs> so, they're going off to get whammed with, like, less than 10% hit points each. <laughs> this could possibly <laughs> go wrong. <laughs> yeah, you could leave your sword behind. Chella, Chella yeah. looks like she's remaining behind. She just nods. Yeah, I'm not going... It... I'm not straying far. It's hilarious. Actually, why don't we... Oh, introduce them to my own? <laughs> <laughs> Here's some women, guys! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. So, Mark... We this is you, you. You see the hooks, right? We are so like we're gonna get quadruple fucked by this. Yep. We're gonna yeah, end great. up with the twin showing up <laughs> and Magnus fighting somebody, and then forced to not do something with women. The, the guy's gonna be upset. 
And then it suddenly it's going to be our, like, oh, why don't they have a Lutus? And then we're going to have to petition on their behalf of the thing, and all the other gladiators are going to hate us. And Magnus will be there just pouting the whole time and going, come on, do it, I'm just, come on. Just look at it. Oh, it's my job in, in like, game one of the new, of the new town and, you're and in. And Phineas, and Phineas will go, oh, we can kill Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know these guys are assholes, I swear. That's awesome. So Magnus joins the women's ludus. How many hit points how many women how many women how many hit points did I get back from the How many women? <laughs> uh, all of your non lethal and uh, eight of your lethal. Um fifty four mines and not so bad. All right. The others go and visit the. Um, uh, I'm yeah. I'm not going to further role play the drunken romantic scene between <laughs> Magnus and uh, the warrior lady Sonia, who has a twin. Um... Yeah, twin. You say <laughs> yeah. uh, it's An called evening. whiskey dick. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> no, no, nope, 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 not going there. <laughs> uh, uh, and we need to find um, what is this dude's name? Beast oh man, beast! Check oh, the stream. Oh, the stream. <laughs> All right, there's a stable that is under guard. You can hear the trumpeting of something elephant-like and the stamping when you approach. It is actually shaking the ground. Ooh, okay. Um, the the people tell you to stay back. They've got even hey, like the whole it's, the whole it's it's, it's uh the Rancor trainer from uh it's Rancor trainer from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, uh, yep. Um, <laughs> there is a fenced off area, <laughs> and there are people patrolling around. They've got other animals and that sort of thing. They've they, it looks like they've got a, like a che like a, a great cat on a on a leash, uh, like some sort of jaguar. Um, but eventually coming out and dunking his head in what you thought was a trough intended for the animals is this really large man. He's like grand, grandly large and proud of it. He's shirtless. Um, he's got a wrapping around his head and he stinks like, uh, he stinks like animal dung when he comes over to you. Ashoka will step forward and shake his hand. For Phineas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, you, you're from uh, the new Ludus, aren't you? Yes, we welcome. Come to pay, we've come to pay our respects. Um, uh, and, uh, he, 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 yeah, he passed yeah, gas. Yeah, he yeah, just did. Yep. Uh, 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 yep. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been uh, testing out the diet of the megafront, and uh, it's uh, it's not quite right. We we heard tales that megafronts should enjoy peanuts might not be correct but we this is mixed oh yeah it, it, it is getting pretty big <laughs> you got a fun bird there I hear that yes, they make good I... familiars uh, he is actually a familiar well so he's in danger of losing that position good thing little bird that you are not in the imperial city I hear that all the birds there um, uh, sing to the Queen of Ravens song. You didn't acquire this familiar in the, um, in Vinvossa, did you? Uh, actually, yes, I did. Liar! Liar! Not liar! Oh, I no. It appears <laughs> that I uh, hit a nerve. I'm so sorry. I do not mean to um, step between a master and and his uh, beast. Certainly, no if, no offense was taken on either side. And he, sh he shakes Phineas's hand, thrusting a poopy hand into yours. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And he wanders over oh and he goes and shakes Akka's hand. Whoa, big warrior there! Um. Aka is one of our his personal protection. Are you from the Southern Islands? Uh, I, Ashoka will translate. Uh, Aka says yes. He's got a dozen questions about the snakes of the Southern Islands and of the of, of the lizards and how big they grow and what what is there and uh, we will entertain this man. Aka seems confused at this. I don't think Aka has the skills. He's got knowledge of nature. Oh yeah, he tells you about some things and how. Uh, uh. 
I think Phineas was prepared for this, and he's got a little thing that he dabs under his nose that he prepared. <laughs> okay. Some big you, at first, you, ra you raised your hand, and oh, yep, that's not dirt. That's poop. That's that's. that's... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you dab yeah, you, so you've got a gel, but you don't know how to get it to you. <laughs> press the digitate. Press yeah, the digitate. <laughs> you you clean yourself. Oh, I, uh, I was. Um, um, why don't we wander over to the civic arena? All right. Uh, he wanders over. The guards just let him in. Okay. Yeah. Well, seem to have. Easy access to the arena. I would have thought it would have been a little harder to get in. Oh yes, I am the Beastmaster of Adipal. Um All my beasts fight in the arena exclusively. Um, I was very concerned when I heard that you had bulls. And um, is the rumor true that you have some sort of Drake? The same family. Think smarter. <gasps> a dragon. Ashoka puts his finger to his lips. Wait a minute. You're not trying to outdo me, are you? No, of course not. <coughs> you wouldn't pit your dragon against my beasts. Beasts don't tend to want to fight dragons. I will have to train them to bite things that are normally not allowed to bite, or, or, or that they would naturally, of course. Oh, Actually, this... what we'd like to offer you is probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Really? Well, our uh, little friend is young, but temperamental. Mm. Requires... What color of dragon? I hear it might be crimson. It would be a fitting name for our Lutus. It's our red crimson dragon, scale. king of all the dragons! The chromatics, anyways. Yes, yes. I, I, as a boy, I remember all of my lectures about dragons. Would you be interested in helping develop this dragon with us? Do you mean develop? You want me to train your dragon for you? <laughs> we would, of course, credit you. How big do you say? What was that? How big do you say? Uh, it's the size of a dog right now. Growing quickly. What size of dog? This big? Uh, ret retriever? <laughs> Even with, with his hands, like... A quite manageable size. Mm, I have to find out what blood is. Still very dangerous. <laughs> Is yes, I would. In principle, yes, I would be most honored to uh, take a dragon and train it, um, uh, to wean it, to uh, love the dragon, of course. Uh, could be quite expensive. Dragons eat a lot of meat. Specialized diets, yes. We'll have to uh, make reference to some of the treaties. Uh, but I have got a ludus. I've got a, a beast stable to run. Would manage my beasts. I suppose my apprentice would have to do that. It will cost money. Of course. The dragon will have to be moved from wherever you're keeping it to um, a secure location. We are keeping it in a secure location. No, no, no. It needs to be a big enough place for it to fly around, but secure enough that it cannot escape. I have just the place, he says. Uh, where would that be? Oh, <laughs> Beastmasters have their secrets. <laughs> <clears throat> With all due respect. You guys can see into the Vatapol Arena. They mm -hmm. are constructing what look like a series of very large boxes with many doors and windows on them, kind of all, like, and then smaller boxes around them. Um, and you do notice that there are these sorry-looking kind of slaves that have big sacks and wheelbarrows of dirt that are coming out of a different part of the Ludus. You don't see any pits. Uh, they just seem to be coming from, like, coming from maybe down below. 
they're hauling rock and dirt and stuff. I'm they don't mind them day laborers. And the night shift will start soon. An arrangement can be made to allow for travel, although we would have to be assured of the safety of our... Um... Oh, it, um, it won't be far. It will be within the city walls, he says. We will need a member of our staff. Has it bonded with anyone yet? Oh, it's... If by bondage you mean tried to eat, we have one. No, no, so who is <laughs> who is the mother of the dragon? The closest thing it has to a friend right now would be myself. Friend? No, 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 no. A creature like that will probably crawl into your bed and eat you if you think it's your friend. I told you we need to beat the damn thing. No, boss. no, beating it. If you want to have an intelligent beast and not some raging monster that you constantly have to um, chain up, it may stunt its growth if you keep it chained up like a like a wild and rabid beast. No, you need to find the right balance of 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 stern and love. All right. I will be attending as much as I can this training. Well, well, it depends who you wish it to bond with. It will bond with the trainer, but if the trainer does the right job, it will either become... I mean, it depends how smart the thing is. Dragons apparently could be as smart as art wizards, and some of them as dumb as trolls. Speaking of which, I would like to teach it magic if it is capable. Oh, dragons, uh, if it is a true dragon, if it's truly a true dragon, it will learn magic on its own, and you will maybe be able to influence the type of magic that it, uh, uh, it, it does. Exposure to magic, we are too, too early for this yet. No, no, no. Um, it must learn its own innate dragonness. This will keep me rather busy. It will be expensive. I would think that proper training of the beast, we could mold it into something that is um, close to man-like in behaviors. Within a year, it would probably cost upwards of 10 to 20 talents to do the job correctly. Sounds motive. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do the double roll thing. Sure. Because I, I'm very, I am very much like a, I, oh yes, yes, plus. I got a twenty-two. <laughs> I got a twenty-nine. There we go. This guy cries at his beast dying, yes. and he told you he has secrets and told you what the secret is. I know. It's he, like he's 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 perfect. He's nice. That is very agreeable. I did not expect this when I woke up this morning. Um, I expected to solve the um, food problem, and he shows you his dirty hand that he shaked your hands with, um, and then realizing, oh, I I'm sorry, he wipes it on his own on his own. Uh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, Adam, like primal Adam, likes this guy. Like farmer <laughs> Adam likes this guy. So um, I really had to dig up in there. <laughs> there was a blockage. Jeez, is what he says. Oh, uh, that's all right. <laughs> we, 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 we all, we've all had those days. Mm. Well, um, yes. Um, I guess the first step would be to um, make sure that this place is. Um, oh, uh, um, is um, is. Um, uh, secure enough for such a little beast to use it the size of a terrier. Yes, I will have to reinforce the sewer drains to make sure it doesn't escape. Where is it being kept now? Uh, I'll undo this. We have ex expanded a cellar and reinforced it with metal oh, so it cannot no. burn through the door. You would raise such a dreadful beast if you raised it in a cellar. We, are tr we were trying to mimic a dragon den. <coughs> but we're working mostly with um, sort of stories. Could I ask, he says, for maybe a talent up front? I will have to pay some laborers. This can be arranged. 
Shoka gives him a talent right now. Oh, you have it on you. <laughs> he he takes it and looks at it. His imperial talent. He sticks it in his pocket. You have a deal, sir. Excellent. Uh, Shoka will spit in his hand, and we have the spitty, shitty handshake of man love. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, we will go over particulars as to what sort of fighting style you would like this dragon. Although he, there's a chance that because we did not get him straight out of the egg, that well, um, he may already have his own predilections. We shall see when we what? meet the little bugger. Whatever style he chooses to kill his prey with is entirely up to him, as far as I'm concerned. Kill his prey? Oh, yes, red dragons. Animals, right? You'll be feeding him, like, goats? Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> goats. Goats who do. Shepherds may not like him when he gets a little bit older, but goats. Yes. Yes. They tend towards anarchy and they tend towards uh, evil would you like me to try to um, assuage the beast as he learns and reinforce positively and negatively if necessary uh, a, a certain way of being um, away from anarchy yes order towards order I mean Evil is, evil doing, evil for evil's sake is something to be assuaged, but the priority needs to be not chaos. Give me a sense motive. Uh, right, I'm also, tr I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, assuage his, like, oh, I don't like the Herbiter. 17. He looks pained by this. Yeah. Yes, it is unfortunate. As long as he realizes there are rules to be obeyed, the evil can be... But a crazy maniac that may not know what he's doing would be more dangerous than a selfish one. I will do Precisely. my best to curb both idiosyncrasies. Well, certainly, if you can. Mm, yes, it will take much work. the only work. way he could be accepted into, this, into society. Yes, I do believe that this is the beginning of an excellent friendship. I am so glad that you enjoyed the gift that I sent you. When I heard that you had bulls riding like horses, we will show those knights a thing or two. And until that day when we bring out to this... Wait, the dragon... How do you have a dragon? We have the proper paperwork, if that's what you're wondering. It is a registered um, gladiator. Right? It's a registered um, Tempe in our stable. He's registered as a Tempe. Well, you'll have to leave him his Tempe status until he's ready. Correct. Yes, we don't want him flying out of the arena and wreaking havoc on the city. No, no, we definitely do not want that. But we will have to train him to fight men. Yes, yes, we will. Again. Uh, Yes, he will have to train to fight men. For the first season, it will be time for the dragon to spend um, alone. And with me and the trainer, and for us to set right from wrong, and um, to instill in him some sort of morality that may otherwise not exist. After the first season, I will require the person who will step forward as his battle companion or his master, you could decide which one is which, and then the season after that, it will be the opposite of whatever I just said. That's not right. If his master is the battle companion, well, that'll be obviously a much um, easier. The master and the battle companion will be two separate. Uh... Yes, that will be difficult. Um, there is no guarantee that the bonding will happen. Of course, there's risk in everything. Yes, I'm glad you see it that way. Sometimes animals are just... Um, 
Well, they're like people, right? You see? You can give them all the nurture in the world, but sometimes their nature does come through. It is effectively, in my um, opinion, um, a flip of the coin. If you ever need something, please keep us in mind. We're quite capable. Yes. Yes, I have yet to find... Um, we have a... Um, he's called a dark elf. Uh, he's a gladiator that's in our Ludus. Um, he, his name is Drace. And Drace fights with a, uh, a beast called a displacer beast. And those pair have yet to find a um, suitable... Um, um, uh, challenge in the first day of the games. If your Ludus is up for the challenge against Drace and his displacer beast, um, I would be most um, uh, happy if you could provide. Otherwise, I will have to go to one of the other Ludus's, and I really don't want to give them the coin. The last great spectacle, they killed too many of my beasts. I fear that um, there are certain types of creatures that can no longer be found in this duchy. It's like we've depopulated them. A battle to submittal? Right, yes, that is agreeable. Um, I do not wish to lose Drace, and nor does he wish to lose his displacer beast, although his beast is rather vicious. Perhaps your um, champion? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm certain our champion is healthy <laughs> and in his prime. <laughs> Depending on the ranking of your gladiators, I would be willing to accept up to three of your warriors against Drace and his displacer beast. I think that is more than fair. That, that does seem very appropriate. Yes, and it won't be a chained match. Oh, you can put all three on the field at the same time. Do not fall for that. Uh, a, ch a chained match? Uh, <laughs> yes, like... where you have three gladiators and one goes out at a time until that one either submits or dies and then the next one is allowed to go out. Oh, Don't yeah, fall for the chained matches. Uh, let's not fall for that one. Thank you no, for that no. little bit of advice. Uh, what is Drace's ranking? Uh, Drace is... Um, he thinks for a moment. He looks up his mental spreadsheet. Drace is nearly heroic. Veteran status. He's looking to acquire his heroic status, and meeting multiple opponents will help him and his displacer beast from, um... Is that agreed? Uh, knowledge Arcana on displacer beast. Sure. And Pokin Phineas. Around 33. <laughs> 33? 25. Uh, did they even do Displacer Beast and Pathfinder, or is this one of those monsters? I think they did. He says only because he assumes. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you know their displacement quality. Uh, nope, they do not have Displacer Beast. No, I think Displacer Beasts are owned by uh, wizards. Oh, yeah? So, is it a Displacer Beast? <laughs> yeah, it's a Displacer Beast, and give me a second, I'm going to go find my third 3.5 edition Monster Manual. Oh, I know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's got tentacles coming out of its backside. Yeah. And it has a displacement effect. They make good cloaks. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> Tell me what you know. Um... First, you have to distinguish whether it is a Displacer Beast Pack Lord or a Displacer Beast. Are you going to ask? Wait, is it a pa I Okay, yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, my, I would never try to fool you with that. Yeah, a Pack Lord would tear, would tear everyone apart. Hmm. CR12 is a Pack Lord. Yes. Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know with your 33 that Displacer Beasts are large magical beasts. They um, have magical beast qualities. They can see in the dark, low light vision. They are resistant to range attacks. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What was it? Resistant to range attacks. Oh, um... I think they have like a... a... Oh, against spells at range, they have a bonus. They're really good at stealthing, and then you, you obviously know the, the, the quality that gives them the name and their title, that they constantly have a field of displacement, like 50-50 yep. mischance. 
three. Three warriors. Okay. You, you get an idea that uh, the CR of this thing, the book is probably wrong with CR four. I'm guessing that it's CR five or six. Okay, so it would be like a CR nine encounter, and we'd throw. Otherwise, they're like big. Uh, oh, the, oh, they have tentacles coming out of their back, so they've got bites and two tentacles. Yeah. Like two tentacle I think they have six. They have six legs and tentacles coming out of their back. Yep. Yeah. I remember painting one for... Uh, making one, actually, because they didn't have a mini for Displacer Beast. There's the picture in the monster manual. <clears throat> Ain't your ordinary kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty! Bear kitty! Bear kitty! Uh, so... If it's not to the death, then sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's saying uh, accidents do happen sheepishly, yeah. but... Yes. Um... Then um, um, any weapon she'll do, I know that Drace prefers um, his... And, and what way for the groans? His twin scimitars. What? <laughs> that is fine as long as no lances are used. No, oh, no, we'll save the lances for when the, um, um, I'll have to explain to Drace. Drace is eager for blood, but he's eager to prove himself as heroic status. Um, I believe that he may very well move on to the Imperial capital. Um, and what shows they will give them there. His beast is tremendous. Excellent. Uh, we will have a day one challenge. Uh, I assure you that you will be, um, uh, those, we, we will, we will field three, um, and they shall be of no higher than blooded status. You know, if you think that's safe, is what he says. <laughs> um, if we use apprentices, could we use four? Apprentice class four? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Drop the chest over and mic. Ding. <laughs> yeah. This guy may not be the chaotic good ranger. Uh, I'm just gonna bump up um, the guild of sea tamers or guild of beast tamers against the conclave of the crimson scale are now helpful. Yeah, I think we, we like, like each other. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta, you gotta have your allies somewhere, right? Yep. Basically, what I'm what I'm thinking is, we've got one blooded, and a Magnus, and everybody else is an apprentice or an unblooded. So our stable <coughs> is really weak on tough opponents. So it's gonna be like Magnus and three dudes, I think. You know, I'm gonna die, right? <laughs> I am also looking for look someone to to. Um, is your Ludus uh, uh, performing any condemned matches? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, I really, really would like to trot out the Megaphant um, during the first uh, day of fighting, or the first week of fighting. It, it, it would be to the love of the crowd. They love elephants. They're going to love the Megaphant. Uh, that is... Uh, we'll have to get back to you on that. Um, we are... There's a bit of a to-do with our um, condemned uh, ex-noble, you know. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, the the Megafint won't care whether their blood is blue or red. <laughs> right, but some of the, the crowd wishes to be a little more, you know, involved with... You know. Who? The crowds love the fence. But not the fence, the... The elephant's the animal, not the ones that look like elephants and walk around with two feet. Yes. Yes. So, uh, un unfortunately, we cannot supply for that particular fight. Ah! All right. Hmm. Anyway, then. Hmm. It was good meeting you, he says to the bird. Ah, fat so! Ha 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 ha! a delight, isn't he? Yes, delightful. <laughs> well, I must get back to um uh, to the shit and um, are those peanuts? Uh, yes. yes, 
Yeah. He, he reaches you. his shitty hand into the peanut thing, and now he's like cracking them open with his shitty hand, and he's eating peanuts. Oh um, my goodness, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> so to bond with the... Um, with oh, I believe these peanuts will do. Yes. Um, you don't mind if I take a bag of those? Uh, they're, they're a gift. All for you. Oh, well, come. If we leave them here, all these workers will eat them. He calls the slaves workers. That's maybe fine. it's a, his mental gymnastics, maybe, that the chaotic <laughs> dude does. <laughs> but yes. you, you go to his stables. He doesn't bring them in. To, like, you don't get a look at the megaphant, but... Um, uh, he takes he takes the uh, bring these inside. Hey, yes, you can give you can give one no two bags to the megaphant. You know, it's a bunch of grubby looking dudes go and run, run and give it. Oh, he's still eating out of the bag that you gave him. He'll probably eat that bag at the rate he's going. That's that's absolutely as long as he doesn't have a cornery before he's done trading Zargon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, Ashoka is going to use the dirtiness of this man. To convince him that he doesn't want to spend a lot of time with this man to become paired with Zargon, because he wants to become paired with Zargon. That is the that is the that is the next basically conversation on the way back is. <laughs> I can just see. draw. He just tosses the bag, the two bags of of uh, peanuts that he had been carrying around. We shall see once he has done his first season of training. Dum dum. I will feed you to Zargon! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. That's sorry, what I thought, sorry, yes. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> He goes and he attacks a peanut. Like, he goes and... Oh, he's so sh he knows language. He doesn't just mimic it. You're a very smart bird. Dum -dum. Oh, yes, I can be a little thick sometimes. Oh, he's such a nice man. Oh, look how nice he is. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to be a sad guy. day when we have to betray him. And feed <laughs> and him to the Rancor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Chevagast, a pleasure meeting all of you. Uh, we'll we'll yes. um, we'll stop by in the morrow to go and fetch the little dragonling. Our, our secret, he says. Oh, mm. uh, um. yes, yes, yes. That would be fantastic. They're not all assholes. Not everyone can be an asshole. Sometimes they're covered in poo, though, so it's... But, some, <laughs> but sometimes they are covered <laughs> sometimes in Sometimes they just poo. spend a lot of time with the arm-up assholes. <laughs> okay, uh, it's now, like, getting later in the day. Uh, it's, like, evening, and when you get back to the Ludus, you notice that the gladiators are all just kind of, like, laying around. Magnus, would you do something about this? Magnus isn't there. Oh, yeah, where the fuck is Magnus? <laughs> Phineas, or not Phineas, uh, Ashoka is going to ask the gladiators if they, well, has Magnus been in? So, Sona says, I hear that he was looking for an expensive bottle of wine. Master. He, he finally ends it. The mating ritual must have been successful then. He was going to go and deliver it to his uh, paramour. If that's all it takes in these parts, I can't wait till I have my freedom, says Sona. Apparently the master... <laughs> Primus Magnus was successful in the ritual. Enjoy your day of rest. Ashoka goes upstairs. You notice that you notice that Sona was taking out his whip. He was going to offer something, but then he, he just kind of shrugs at this, and he goes over and talks to the others. <laughs> uh, all right, Ashoka is going to do a gather I... information to make certain Magnus is dead on a street corner somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go looking for Magnus, and you find him. Uh, I need a name for a uh, a, a wine tavern, like a tavern that serves wine. Oh, the, um... Oh, there's a god. Uh, Ola, Ola Damara is the name of the god of rogues and wine. He's the laughing god. Okay. So we'll call this, um, Ollie's, um, Blessed Press. Uh, 
When you catch Magnus, <laughs> you, you find him. <laughs> Magnus is half out of his armor, drunk with uh, a half out of her armor woman. They are laughing, snorting, drinking wine, and and like falling over each other while they're trying to crush grapes with their bare feet. There's fiddle music and people laughing and dancing and uh, um, uh, Make, makes sense. Uh, Magnus has got a big bruise. She looks like her arms, like arms in a sling, uh, and and the two of them are are in the middle of some day drunk, like some roaring, rip roaring day drunk, and they look like they've gotten the piss beaten out of them. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> You notice that there are some some very concerned looking women with 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 staves that are that are like watching the two of them and they they some of them a couple of them are chatting one of them's giving like dirty looks to Magnus. Phineas, the ritual has not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> Magnus, get up! No, no, no! Hey, your friends are here, Magnus. <laughs> Don't want anything. <laughs> <laughs> and one of your gladiators. You okay to fight a di displace a beast in a uh, um, yeah yeah submission whatever. match? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah well, fine, whatever. <laughs> All right, you'll be there with three of your gladiators in the in the match. Yes, it's good. And the wine, you know, you drink the wine, smash it, smash it. You agree? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so, <laughs> sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> Drunkard! Yeah. Hey, you're not drinking, come on in! <laughs> There's all sorts of fiddling. And... <laughs> Are you here? And some guy comes in, they're, they're putting little like little glasses of wine in you. Taste Ola Del Mar's um, uh, finest stock. Uh, Ashoka is going to give his to Akka. Okay. Akka drinks the tiny glass and tosses it on the ground, sending some servant to go chasing after it. He takes the other one, drinks it, and tosses it on the ground, knowing that the, another servant will go <laughs> running after it. He, he <laughs> grins. All right. Uh, Phineas, is there any other information that you need from him, or shall we let him ritual? Let him ritual, but we have gladiators that need training. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was all—I was always the uh, what's it called the uh, the DD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know my way around. Uh, Phineas, come. Nix, Nix gets really close to Magnus. Pinches the back of his arm and runs away and flies away. <laughs> 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 Ashoka's gonna go talk to one of the women with sticks that look stern. Yep. What do you want? Just, 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 I'm angry. making certain that my Primus isn't in danger. Your Primus beat up our, our Doctore. They beat, they beat the living hell of each other. I was about to say it looked like a mutual beating. They both passed I out. I won! <laughs> While her head hit the floor first, they both passed out. <coughs> I understand that you're having trouble registering your Lutus. It is not for me to say. I am willing to speak with those who it is at our liberty to say. Obviously not during such a celebration. Sonia is indisposed, she says annoyingly, as, as you realize that that woman's name is Sonia. She's like, ah! She's laughing along with Magnus, crushing grapes and falling all over the place. And then when they fall, they hurt themselves and then laugh some more. And then they drink and... <laughs> they're, they're smooching in the, in the bucket and all these fiddlers and people are, are, are laughing along with them. This place is, this place is happy. It does have a slightly religious bent if you have knowledge religion. No. I don't yeah. know what gods are. Uh, <laughs> I will we retrieve Magnus from where in the morning? You mean we're not leaving him here? Oh, come now, Sonya's getting along with Magnus. 
says one of the other ones. We'll drop them off at the steps of your ludus. Fair enough. Fair enough. Although it'll likely take a cart to get him home. Ashoka will give them five gold coins. Okay, if like you cab drag, fare. If you drag him behind a cart, I don't care. As long as he's ready to work <laughs> tomorrow. She accepts the five gold coins. Hey, can I have one? <laughs> and she she whaps at the younger girl that asked for a coin. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Drunkard! Drunkard! Uh, Nyx goes over and gets precariously close to a drunk Magnus. He steals a grape and then goes flying back to Phineas's shoulder. Oh, Ma Magnus is going to take an AOO. <laughs> All right, an unarmed Power AOO. attack. Ah! Power attack <laughs> All right, uh, minus four for your state of <coughs> drunkenness, minus four for the non-lethal. Don't you have unarmed combat? Yeah, I do. Okay, so do you don't take a minus four? Nope. Just a minus four from your drunken state. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah twenty. Well, twenty-four will I do. I think that hits the. That'll uh, do the hit it. Nicks. And you're doing lethal. Oh hell yeah! I hate this fucking bird. <laughs> <laughs> we might actually make instructions to have him dragged behind the cart on the way back. <laughs> Let me just How many look hit points at, does a bird have? Uh, half of Phineas's. Oh, I'm not power attacking. 20. I'm doing non-lethal. No, oh, you, least... no, you said no. power attacking oh, lethal. Fuck. So He's drunk. <laughs> 18, yep. Birdie, birdie. All right. It'll be fine. What is it? Uh, what's my non-lethal? A D4? D3. D3. All right. Plus strength plus uh, single-handed power attack. Plus strength plus four. Strength plus four. So it should be plus nine. Uh, 23 plus 9 Ding. 10 damage any Ding. other bird that would have splattered them across the, the wall the thing goes flying across the room not of its own wing smacking into a wall falling down to the ground uh, and then it it is on the ground for a moment you thought he died um, Phineas but you kind of get the sensation that it's afraid and, and it's stunned a little bit and then it, it sort of pops up and, and sheepishly kind of half flies half scampers along the ground back towards its master avoiding avoiding Magnus that bloodied the bird oh really <laughs> <laughs> the, the bird's making a bit of a whimpering noise Phineas we should be going. We certainly should. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll be able to cheer for Magnus in the in the in the ring. <laughs> ah, why does he make me do these things? Magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, to, to Magnus, not the... The bird? <laughs> All right, so 3d4 plus 3 missiles? 2d4. 2D4 no, it's plus 2d4. 2D4. Uh, 2d4, yep. Six. Six. Magnus, you get, you get punched twice. One of them really hurt uh, as you wheeled around and you saw, like, flashes of All light right. coming out of Phineas. Uh, that's 60 damage. You are still conscious with your 68 hit points. Yep. And I hey! hit him again. Hey, none of that in here! Rage time. <laughs> none of that in here! You know, there's a bunch of the patrons are yelling because, like, two big bolts flying out of the wizard, it was obvious. Oh, I'm sorry. So mm. sorry. You, get out of here! You're not welcome here! This is holy ground, oh. Ola, Dam uh, Ola Damara! You know, you're lucky you're not in the capital. They'd burn you at the stake. Boo! Everyone's now booing. Boo! Get out of here! And they're throwing grapes at everyone in the doorway. You bunch of heathens! <laughs> bunch of heathens! Ashoka is, like, stunned, <laughs> flabbergasted. <laughs> okay. Like... Uh, oh, Magnus man, said he'll hell. kill your bird. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not worth it. You're still alive, says Sonia <laughs> to, to Magnus. Oh, shit. Uh, That's right. You. <laughs> Magic missile. <laughs> uh, 
can I do something? <laughs> sure. What is Ashoka this? doing? Yeah, Ashoka, you can see Phineas is like like his temple is is uh, is twitching. What what is your action? <clears throat> you could close the door. I'll close the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, because that's gonna stop.